Hello world, my name is Ella Jameson and I've been working for the past like two weeks on a program called LPHK, which stands for Launchpad Hotkey. Uh, basically I thought it'd be really freaking cool to use Innovation Launchpads as a massive, fully configurable macro keyboard essentially. Um, and yeah, I thought it was so cool that I decided to just make it. So um, I've, I've made it in Python so far. Currently it only supports the Launchpad Mark II, but more are coming. See the features on GitHub for, or the to-do list on GitHub for more info. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. And I'm just gonna connect to the launch pad right here. You'll see it pulls up the grid. Um, you can actually click on any button and it'll open up the editor. This editor is where you enter the LPHK script. LPHK script is something that I've made specifically for LPHK, go figure. And it's a very simple thing. It's similar to Ducky script. If you've ever used a rubber ducky, um, it's all documented on GitHub, so again, go there. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you, for example, one of the commands is delay, right? So if I type delay one, that'll delay for one second, and let's say I want to make the, make it a, a fully bright mint button. So you'll bind the button right there, hey, look at that. It'll, it'll delay for a second before finishing, cool. Um, so let me actually show you some more interesting things other than delay. So let me load a layout. That's another feature. You can save and load layouts as well. So I'm going to open up this layout that I made beforehand. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is that these are all media keys. So these are volume keys. So special tap, volume up, volume down. Um, then of course you got, you've got, you know, back and forward, which isn't doing anything because I'm not in like VLC or something. Uh, this will play or pause, which again, does nothing currently because I'm not in a program that that's relevant for. This does mute and unmute. Uh, you can see that here, it'll run a website, it'll open up the GitHub page. Um, all of those are just single, you know, command uh, scripts so far. So this is the GitHub page with the readme that you should totally read. Um, this will open up YouTube. As an example, uh, you could have this one bound to space, which will play and pause the video. You could have this bound to F, which would, you know, make the video full screen. And you could bound, have this bound to C, which would turn captions on and off, and really just any other things that you could do with a keyboard. Uh, here's where it gets interesting. This is a function that actually mul runs multiple commands, essentially, or it's a script that runs multiple commands. So the first thing it does, it tries to open a new browser, tv.nomad.com. If it can't open it in a new browser, it'll open in the existing browser. Um, it waits two seconds, and then it taps F11. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So it's running currently, and it's done running. And yeah, so there you see it opened up the website and made it full screen, which is just fantastic because that's the best viewing experience in my opinion. This will press F11 just like it did over here. This will press space just like it did over here, but space skips video on this one. So I'm not going to do that because videos after this first one are sort of like, you know, potentially copyrighted. Um, I am going to show you what this does though. So this opens the developer console, this button right here. It presses Control, Shift, J, Shift, Control. So press that, opens the developer console, bam, we're in like play. Press it again, we're gone. So that's an example of a more complex script. Again, you can make these as long as you want. Um, and I'm always adding more, you know, functions. If you have any function ideas, please leave them in the comments. Just leave them on GitHub. I don't know if you can do that. Leave them just place. Leave them. Just get them to me somehow. Fucking send them via carrier pigeon. I want to add more commands and I want more ideas for commands. Again, follow the GitHub page, read the to-do list. You can see what's going on right now. But yeah, so that's an example of that. Uh, I think the last two commands that I haven't shown you, you can play sounds. So if you're playing a game and you're streaming and you want to like play, play have a small soundboard section in the corner, let's say, you can do that, not a problem. Um, if you want to have something that automatically types strings, you can do that. So something that I am planning on using this for is to automate typing out like uh, stuff like, you know, for loop skeletons and if what, if then else skeletons and shit like that. Like just kind of just automatically inserting those. I know that there are some IDEs that do that automatically, but you know, this one's way more versatile. You can program in your own function templates and just press a button and it enters it. Uh, so currently obviously it's just typing hello world. So if I, I will conveniently have a text edit here, if I type that button, it'll type hello world super duper crazy fast. Um, as a side note, if you try to add something that is not a valid command, it'll do that. It'll, it'll, it'll check to make sure you're not doing something stupid. It, it's not perfect, but it does do a lot of checking. So 
uh, that's really where the script is right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and run it and try and, if you have any bugs, report them on GitHub, please, uh, as detailed as you can so I can fix them. Um, you know, if you, if you run into a bug that you're not sure what happened and the thing just freezes up, go ahead and run it in the developer console. Um, you, there's an instruction on how to do that online. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm Outski. Uh, let me know if there's anything else that you think you want added to this or if you're interested in it at all. Or if nobody, if nobody gives a shit. If nobody gives a shit, then, then don't, don't, don't comment in this video if you don't give a shit. Actually, if you, if you don't give a shit, comment in this video saying I don't give a shit. Or dislike the video. You could dislike the video too. That's a good way to show that you don't give a shit. I don't know how to end videos, guys. And I also like really don't want to edit this video. Mm. So, like, how's the weather where you live? This is awkward. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave now. Bye.